Hello everyone, Mrs MLG here and today I'm going to paint 77447 a Reaper Wear Crocodile. First of all we gave our Wear Crocodile a good scrub with a brush and warm soapy water Then we're going to give it a base coat all over with Reaper Green Liner. Don't worry if you've not got Reaper Green Liner, you can use any dark green just as a base coat all over the miniature. I'm just going to grab my painting handle from Citadel and attach the wear crocodile to it with some blue tack because the Reaper miniatures don't tend to sit in the Citadel painting handle um, as flush as obviously Games Workshop models. So I'm just going to use a bit of blue tack to attach it so that I don't paint my fingers all green. Next I'm going to give it a dry brush over with Reaper Christmas Wreath and a flat Green Stuff World brush. I'm going to give it quite a heavy dry brush over. So this Christmas Wreath I believe is only available in a Christmas set that we sell from Reaper. But it's basically just a lighter, slightly lighter green than the Reaper Green Liner. So you just use a slightly lighter green and as you can see it's just picked out the uh, higher areas of the miniature. And then what I'm going to do next is add some Army Painter Mouldy Clothes, which again is a lighter green again, mixed in with the Christmas wreath to make a slightly lighter colour and go over the miniature again with my dry brush just to pick out those higher areas and make them more defined so that the Reaper green, green liner will stay dark in the recesses and then the lighter colours will build up on top. You can see now those colours are starting to come out from the dry brushing, picking out the detail. Then I'm going to do some in my favourite colour, which is Army Painter Jungle Green. I love this colour. All my green stuff has got this colour on somewhere. It's a really, really bright green. So we're just going to give a light dry brush of this, just on the top areas and just picking out those, those higher areas of the miniature with this awesome jungle green. Then I'm going to use Vallejo Khaki and I'm going to use a normal paintbrush and just do his belly and the bottom of his tail with this um, really nice creamy brownie khaki colour to uh, depict those areas of my wear crocodile. I'm just using a humble paintbrush here, it's just a nice little cheap paintbrush, I, I really like it, don't have any expensive paintbrushes, um, this is a great paintbrush I think for, for what I need it for. I'm 
And there you go, there you can see his belly in that nice khaki colour. And next we're going to use Reaper Dragon Red and we're going to paint in the inside of his mouth and his tongue with, uh, with this nice deep rich Dragon Red by Reaper Miniatures. going to use army painter skeleton bone to pick out his teeth it's not pure white it's got that nice creamy color and um, so it's not as stark as just using pure white on his teeth so I'm using skeleton bone he's only got little tiny teeth um, but they're there and we need to pick them out so that's what I'm doing now And there we go, there you can see his teeth and his tongue are done now. We're going to use Fire Lizard by Army Painter to do his eyes. I'm still just using a humble paintbrush for this. And we're just going to blob in some Fire Lizard colour to, uh, to do his eyes with. I don't know if you can see, but I'm using my all of my fingers as well as the painting handle to steady my hand as I try and paint these eyes. So use your, use your own fingers as supports and uh, get in the eyes as, as easily as, it, as you can. Then I'm going to use Glossy Black by Vallejo. I really like this Glossy Black, it's, uh, it's quite glossy. So we're going to use the Glossy Black to do the line inside his eye on top of that fire lizard that we've already put there. Again, using my fingers to support as I Try my best not to blob glossy black all over the place. I'm also going to use the same glossy black to pick out the details of his claws on his hands and his feet. Then I'm going to use Reaper Pale Saffron just to pick out the really, really high sections um, of his scales, etc. Just to give it a little more interest and definition. I really like the Pale Saffron Yellow by Reaper Miniatures. I think it's a really good, solid yellow colour. I've tried a, a couple in the past and they're a bit patchy, etc. But I, I have had lots of good experience using the Pale Saffron um, from Reaper. As you can see, well I hope you can see, uh, that's just, just picked out some slightly higher areas and giving it a little bit more interest and, and definition than, uh, than just all the greens, just that yellow. I'm going to carry on and just pick out just little tiny bits of the yellow where maybe the light had hit more on the miniature and uh, just make it a little bit more interesting hopefully. Now we move on to the base and I'm going to use the Reaper Green Liner again because it's a really nice, rich, dark colour. I'm going to paint the whole base in this colour. I'm not going to film it all because it might be a bit boring. So here we are. Uh, it's still wet which is why it's shiny. And now here we go. He's all done. All those steps and uh, this, is, this is the finished result. I hope you like him. He is ever so slightly darker in real life than the lights are depicting here. But as you can see, we didn't use that many colours, we didn't use that many steps. It's just a nice, quick, simple process. Uh, and I hope that you agree is it'll be good enough for your tabletop uh, and your games. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, you can get all of these miniatures and products from mightylancergames.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helps.